Introduction to Family Poultry Economics Economics is concerned with making rational choices and decisions in the allocation of scarce resources. This is particularly significant in developing countries, where households often have limited resources. How can family poultry benefit from economics? Well, economics can help to identify the drivers of change within the poultry sector and form a basis for assessing present and future risks. Economics provides tools to understand the motivations and perceptions of farmers and people who work in the poultry sector. These tools are the basis for developing inclusive policies that encourage participation and hence ensure success in poultry health campaigns. The benefits derived are different for each type of poultry production system. The four main types of poultry production system are scavenge-based, free-range, semi-intensive and intensive. It is important to document the differences between these production systems so as to be able to understand the priorities of farmers and to have a basis to assess change in productivity or profitability. Scavenged-based poultry systems are characterized by low inputs. Birds are allowed to wander freely in the environment and scavenge for all or most of their food. The size and composition of flocks varies widely. In some areas, Supplementary feeding is practiced, however this is not widespread and in areas where it is practiced it is often subject to seasonal availability of surplus grain. Generally, housing is not provided, but birds may be housed in the family dwelling at night or encouraged to roost in trees near the homestead. One characteristic of scavenge-based production is that birds are reliant on local feed resources. Scavenge-based production systems generally use indigenous poultry breeds. The hens produce 40 to 60 eggs per year with high early chick mortality rates. Most of the production is eaten within the village and flock size is dependent on the feed resource base. In free-range poultry production systems, people provide feed, nighttime housing and occasionally water for the birds. However, the poultry are not confined to a pen during the day and are expected to scavenge for a large proportion of their feed. A majority of the supplementary feed used is home-produced and in some cases feeding is directed at hens with a brood of young chicks. Semi-intensive production systems are linked to markets, both for inputs and outputs. These markets are local and possibly regional. Semi-intensive production is characterized by the use of exotic specialized breeds, the presence of egg and live bird markets, a growing demand for animal health services, the use of a quantity of purchased feed, and a level of investment in housing and general infrastructure. In semi-intensive poultry systems, Feed and water is provided for the birds and they normally have some type of shelter. Many of these systems have specialised in meat or egg production and producers have an interest in more productive poultry strains. Flock sizes can vary according to the type of product, with some producers keeping as many as 200 broiler birds, while producers specialising in egg production may keep as few as 50 birds. Intensive production systems of small or large size rely on national markets for inputs and outputs. There may also be additional linkages to international markets. Flock technology and size for large-scale producers are dictated by contracting companies. The large-scale production systems play a critical role in feeding urban populations, many of which are poor. The differences between family poultry systems are important because the critical resources are different, the input markets are different, and the output markets are different. This introductory presentation is part one of a five-part series on 
The Economics of Family Poultry Production.